yeah we could work on uh, lov event and pop list event we are able to retrieve the values from lov as well as pop list right yeah okay and we also discussed initially we discussed about the search pages and uh, some of the functionalities so mm -hmm. today what we do is we have we have something called query bean there's something mm -hmm. called query bean and it's nothing but generally it's called automatic search because in the query bean as a developer we do not need to write any extra code for the purpose of designing a search page of course there are some drawbacks in the query bean functionality but this could be used when you want to design a very simple search page okay so we'll just see okay. how exactly this can be designed because in some of the oracle seeded pages you'll find you will find that pages are designed in this fashion okay so that's the reason we have to have understanding on this one okay okay so let's consider some query here so consider you go ahead that's all okay assume assume that like we would like to design a search page based on the purchase order okay so maybe consider the criteria as a p1 number assume that assume that search criteria is based on a p1 number okay, okay. so i hope we never implemented that okay yeah so now what we would like to do is we want like, we would like to implement a p1 search page okay based on p1 number and we want to use the query bean we don't want to write our custom logic there is a concept called query bean so if you are using a okay. query bean so we if you consider the model view structure it does not require controller that's the first thing we just require okay. am and vivo and vivo search using query bean okay that's it okay. so let's so see no controller then directly it will pass to the vivo stay yes that's the functionality of the query bean the execution of the query allow i mean enabling a parameter binding it runtime everything is done by the query bean that's the functionality of the query bean all right okay so now yeah. now let's create a vivo new vivo object Vivo details page. Okay. Assign the Vivo to the AM. Okay. So this is a normal thing. Like creating a Vivo, yeah. planning a Vivo is a basic thing. And yeah. now, let us design the page. So OA components page and this is my page name now assign the default properties for the page main region aim definition view search yeah so under the main region i'll just create one region and that region style i'll set it as header region mm -hmm. vivo details okay now under the header yes. region what we do is right click on the header region create a new region okay now mm -hmm. set this particular region style to query there is a region called query okay oh. so i'll set the region id as query rn query region mm -hmm. and now here we have to set some properties here the main properties are like um, in the if you consider there is a the three properties in the construction mode so initial initially let's con concentrate on the concentrate on result based search okay so we'll understand once okay. we run the page but as of now let's consider the construction mode as result based search okay okay and also okay. include simple panel as true true okay okay and also one more important thing like let us say sometimes you know there are chance that you know we could miss some property right assume that like you have a source code but you are not exactly sure you are, you are not exactly sure what exactly what are the properties which i have applied in a particular bean so what you can do is once you open my source code if you observe the green color 
green color ticks wherever you see green color points it means that these are the properties which i have applied like id i've okay. changed region styling mm -hmm. i've changed and this one construction mode as well as include include simple panel this is how we can easily understand what properties have changed okay now coming to next thing on the query region perform a right click click on new region using a wizard so i'm performing a right click on the query region okay click on next now select the am select the vivo select the region style as table now select the columns here I'll select segment one vendor id site id or id view type and uh, okay that's it okay so, style text okay that's it now as of now we have not written any line of code and let's see mm -hmm. i'm just running the page now okay mm -hmm. Now, what do you observe here? Yeah, two regions are created, right? Mm. One is the search. Mm -hmm. One is search region, and one uh, the other one is the um, results region. But mm -hmm. where do we enter the values? Okay, before that, do you see extra buttons? Do you see go and clear button? Yeah, yeah we did not create those, but they are created. Yeah. Yes. So the basic thing is they will get appear if you are using a query bin. That's the basic functionality of query bin. Assume okay. As of now, we don't have search criteria. But what happens if you cl click on go? Observe here. Initially, it says no search conducted, and if you just click on go, it has to display all the data. Right. Yeah. So now what is happening? The underlying view is getting executed automatically when you click on go. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, how it is happening? It is because of the query region, and these buttons are also appearing from the query region only. Yeah, by default. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's kind of wrapper component. You know, like uh, by default it doesn't show these components, but when you include that particular component at runtime, what are the components mm -hmm. which are there in that will get added up to our page. Okay. Okay. But now let us yeah. say we would like to implement a search page based on the P1 number, right? So what you do is enable your P enable the table region. Click on this particular segment one column and simply search aloud as to true. That's it. Okay. Now run the page and see the difference. So this is to make uh, development faster and easier, see? Yeah, like in some scenarios, let us say if you want to design a very simple page, this is quite good, easier one, right? Okay. Yeah. Got it? Yep. And let us say I'll enter my purchase order number as 500. Click on go. That's it. Of course, like yeah. you may have a different purchase, same purchase order number in different organizations, right? Org is different. Okay. And of okay. course, you have a different, uh, I hope you'll have some revision kind of thing, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. And now, let us say, assume that like, uh, we enable a search on the purchase order. Assume that you have a requirement to enable search on the org ID also. Then what we can do? Okay. Just and go to org ID. Good. Yeah. That's it. Now run the page. So now. Um, Data match in both the criteria, so it's like an and right thing. Yeah. Right. So by default, it can it will perform and only. Okay. Yeah. Let us say if I mention two zero four, and I'll mention five hundred. Right. Okay. It is performing like operation here. Do you see? Mm -hmm. 
but here yeah. in this case it will perform I'll tell you the reason also let us I'll mention 506 here 5006 and if you do, do you observe any difference between segment 1 and R guiding yeah they are formatted one is left one is right yes is it because of data type yes so R guide is a number that's a, it's right aligned segment 1 is where care it is left aligned and also okay. it is performing like operation on this one right let us say if I mention 20 in this one and see what happens you see on the number it is performing is equal to operation but on the where and this character it is performing perform the like operation, operation. Yeah. yeah like operation right yeah So the basic thing is like, uh, what are, what could be the disadvantage of this one is like, uh, we cannot customize it. Let us say, you know, like uh, by default, it will perform like operation, by default, it will perform and operation, these kind of things, right? So, but mm -hmm. if you don't want these kind of things to happen, then we have to go with, go with our custom page only. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So in this one, now click on query region and here we enable some properties, right? Now this time click on include advanced panel and set the value as to true, include advanced panel. And okay. run the page again and see the difference. Now oh, we could see extra button, right? Advanced on search. Click on this one. And here it shows all the properties. Like it can be and criteria, or criteria, in criteria, all the things. Now let us say I'll mention segment, sorry, org ID is 204. Mm -hmm. Click on go. Okay. Now the thing is segment one, segment one, See here, segment one is, I'll just say 500. Got it? It's not 2006. So and this one is the exact value. And here it says when all conditions are met, right? It means yeah. that AND criteria is, we just mentioned is. Let us say if you mention contains or starts with, it will be a different story. Okay, okay. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. So here we have an option to mention either is equal to operation or like operation. And also okay. we have the option to mention and or other thing. And also you have an option to mention and also. Okay. What you can do, I'll just click on org ID, click on add. Okay. I can mention different another organization also. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 224. Okay. Because here, if you observe, when you mention, when you mention all conditions, all conditions and if you mention the other one, it will not work, right? Yeah. Okay. That's the reason. Yeah. Clear? Yeah, sure. Sir. Yeah, good. So now we have considered the query bean. We have considered the query bean using construction mode result based search. Okay. Right. And now in this one, if you observe, let us say in the search criteria, now here we are selecting an org ID as an input, right? But assume that you have a requirement to select it from LOV. If you want to make sure that design a search page in which the search criteria will have LOV, LOV or maybe drop down components, right? Mm -hmm. So in those scenarios, how do we implement? So the basic thing is, if you want to implement LOV or drop down, you should not use result based search. Okay, this will not work. That's a okay. must. Then what is the alternative? The alternative is there's something called auto customization criteria. And if you observe the query bin here, if you observe the query bin here, right? There's something called auto customization criteria using this feature we can you know like we can try to implement a lobby kind of thing okay okay 
So we'll just try to consider the same like a uh, same vivo and but this time what we do is instead of selecting an org ID as a parameter the text input will consider from the LOV. Okay. So let, so that's the reason and then what you what I'll do is like I'll reuse my business components model layer, I'll just use my reuse my AM and Vivo and in the just page I'll design the page again. Should we create a new Vivo for the uh, LOV screen? LOV, I think you know we can use this you know like a HR operating units LOV, right? Yeah. Or getting okay, okay. yeah, yeah. Else, if it, we have to create, if it is not there, then we have to create no other option. Yeah. Your search auto custom. Okay. Set the default yeah. properties. Now here, I don't reach it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now construction mode. We'll go with auto customization. Include simple panel as to true and we can also enable advanced panel also okay, okay. Mm -hmm. now here comes the important part query region click on new region using a wizard click on next Now, now we doesn't need to change anything on the table level or maybe the component level. Just perform a right click at the on the query region level, and if you observe, it shows some extra properties now this time. So we have to explicitly create a panel as well as mapping. Okay. So mm -hmm. remember that you know whenever you design any search page, generally it will have a search region as well as result region. So now we have to explicitly create those regions using these particular component only. So now let's start with mm -hmm. our simple search mapping. And also enable the simple search panel. So now I just created a simple search mapping as well as simple search panel. Okay. Okay. Now, so when you say panel, it means that it means that you what do you want to show in the search region, right? This, this is search panel. It means that what exactly you want to show in the search panel. That's what we it is asking. So now what I will do okay. is, yeah. So I'll just create a new region using a sorry, yeah. So new. Just mention the component which you want to create. So what do you want to create? Message LOV input. Message LOV input. So now just mention org ID. Now here here comes the important part. Whether you want to mention like you want to user to select the organization name or whether you want to select the user organization ID. Either way. Either way we can design. Okay. Because if you remember like uh, LOV generally it shows the it shows the value. Right, it shows the it shows the organization name. But how do you pass how do you pass the organization ID? So if you want to pass organization ID to the search page, what we have to do? We have to you know like we have to use the form value concept. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's see, let's you know like uh, that's the best option as of now. So we'll just use the form value concept. Select organization name. So here I'll mention organization name only, but the background it has to pass the organization ID. Okay. Using wizard. Sorry, I think I'm using different one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Now the first mapping is between the. Table region as well as the LOV item. Return okay. item means 
return item org id lov id org id lov id okay now okay. but for them for the like uh, for the simple search region you know like uh, the table region what we have here we don't have organization name if at all if you are having organization name you can map directly and i mean okay. see see this query yeah. criteria map now is linkage between your search search items as well as table region that's what okay. we have now so but in our yeah. table region we don't have organization name wonderly i did not mention that so then how do you map it that's where the important part so now what i can do is simply i'll just create new so in this one we don't have that right okay if i create at this level let me check whether it's form value yeah it's showing fine so now what i will do is i just created a form value it will have org id fv mm -hmm. number data type so in the lov mapping here i'll select organization id and i'll select org id fv okay now in the query criteria map what i will do is what is the search item yeah now here the issue is so it is not showing the it is not showing the form value okay okay so it means that you know we cannot implement this feature either you should have you should have this organization name in the query or simply pass organization id okay okay that's only stuff so we cannot use this form value and all this particular concept so okay, okay. i'll just remove this particular form value i'll create remove this mapping so in this one what i would do is as of now like anyway like if you have the organization name you can bind the organization name if you don't have the organization name what you can do is simply pass the org id so i'll just select organization id okay now yeah. in the query criteria map what i have to do i have to create a link between the panel item as well as the table region item so what is the search yeah. item nothing but panel item panel item name is org id lov id mm -hmm. and what is the result item nothing but this value should match with the org id of the table region this one org oh. id okay clear yeah this is auto custom auto custom feature okay yeah everything is same the way it works is same only thing is like here if at all if you want to use a other component then you have to go with this one Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. Okay. Yeah, sure, sir. Yeah. Now this all about you know like uh, these particular stuff. See, like uh, anyways, you know like when you really require any search page to be des designed, and uh, I still prefer our custom search only. I don't prefer this no. very being. The reason is you know like uh, generally the requirements will never be freeze in the normal area, like uh, in the normal production environment. Generally, always you'll have a requirement get changed. They say that you no, know, mm -hmm. can I have the checkbox? Can I have this particular drop down? Can I have one more LOV? they just go on adding up okay, okay. <laughs> and if you're trying to implement using query bean kind of thing you know like uh, there is a chance let us say if you have a checkbox i don't think we can implement that so there are many yeah, there are many things there are many things which we cannot do here so best thing is no. 
rather than having this stuff simply you can design your the normal you know like uh, our own customs custom. yeah okay. and okay. either like uh, when you're implementing search pages I I don't think like uh, maybe it all depends try to prefer to design the query like uh, during design time rather than binding it uh, rather than having the where clause at runtime because generally that's that's quite faster compared to the other one no, what I mean where is, is, yeah okay try to have the where clause during design time itself rather than uploading it runtime okay 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 yeah. yeah so that's all for the normal in like search pages and the events okay okay now we'll be getting into another topic and that is quite important one performing DML operations in OF pages okay okay so performing DML operation OF page can be done in many ways okay we'll, we'll consider one concept by concept so okay. if you remember the onion layer like uh, we'll have an OF page a CO and then AM then VO and then database this is what we have discussed so far this particular layer yeah. Now other layer we'll try to introduce now is page, CO, AM, VO, and now EO will come into picture. Okay. Okay. So what does this EO is all about? Is it we call it as entity object? Okay. And this entity mm -hmm. object in the OAF can be created on a database comp database object. Entity object is tightly linked to DB object. So what which particular DB object? So in the database we have major set of important database objects like a tables, views, synonym, as well as materialize view. Okay. On these particular four components we can have entity object. Okay. So okay. that's fine. But what is the purpose of entity object? So I'm talking about the purpose basically because that's where the developer always easy it is easy for developer to remember. See rather than rather than knowing why it is all this stuff, if you know the purpose, you can easily remember. The particular component so then the purpose of entity object is used for performing DML operations this first purpose but how does it like and uh, one more thing is no PL SQL is required here no PL SQL APIs APIs are required okay but how does yeah. this entity object will take care of performing DML operation the basic thing is it generates it generates DML statements at runtime because at the end of the day, the PL SQL can understand only database language, right? Mm -hmm. It cannot understand Java language and Java cannot understand PL SQL language. But how does your entity object will generate? The basic thing is like a, when you create entity object on a particular database object, it will have all the information about your particular database component. Okay. And now mm -hmm. as a user, whenever you're trying to, whenever you try to perform any CRUD operation, like a, whenever you perform any create or read or update or delete, I basically like uh, you have a you have set of rows in the page and you have modified a particular row entity object can sense it can sense what you modified okay. which row I mean to say which row is modified which row is modified no. which row is inserted and which row is row is deleted so based on this particular one like uh, updation insertion and deletion so now what it will do like a uh, entity object will exactly know which row is modified and all those things like a modification insertion or deletion and then it will generate the DML statement appropriately at runtime because anyway it have all the column information all the values it is having all the data types it is having then it, it won't be tough to generate the DML statement at runtime isn't it yeah so internally it will do all the logic actually you know Actually, what it is doing, it is reducing the developer effort rather than writing a PL SQL logic or maybe rather than writing the JDBC statements, it is doing the mm -hmm. logic on its own. If you mm -hmm. consider another programming language, like uh, I worked in one of the area, Java Struts. This Java Struts is one of the famous framework and this is also based mm -hmm. on MVC approach. So in that, okay. in that particular one, you know, we have to write explicitly something called the data, we call it as data access objects. And then we have to write explicit, even though it is having the entity of entity being concept, it doesn't have the full implementation of the entity layer. We have to explicitly write all the logic. Okay. Okay. But in our OAF, it will generate automatically. It will write the logic automatically. Okay. Okay. That's the advantage. Mm -hmm. So if it is based on yeah. multiple tables, uh, see if um, a particular uh, 
functionality is based on uh, multiple tables, right? So in that case, uh, how do we? So, so if we have some. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you. See, entity object is based on only one database object. It is one-to-one -one mapping. A given entity okay. object can map to only one entity object. That is first thing. Okay. But let us say, I'll tell you a scenario. Let us say you have a table region. Okay. In the table region, you have around seven columns. Okay. Now, in the seven columns, you have like the first three columns are from table one, and first remaining four columns are the columns from the table two. Understand? Yeah. I mean to say, like a flattened structure. You have a one-to-one -one yeah. mapping between tables, and uh, like a user will enter the data, and first three columns has to be stored in one particular table, remaining four in another table, and you can just perform equi join, and it will show the data. The query-wise, mm -hmm. it's very easy for you. But now, let us yeah. say if I try to insert or modify, then then what should happen? The first three should be inserted in table one. The remaining four should be inserted in table two. Yeah. Right. So for basic thing is by default we don't have this feature in the OE framework. Okay. And if at all if you want to implement, we have to use a concept called flattened Evo. There's a concept called flattened Evo. This concept has to be used. In this one, okay. like a developer has to write explicit coding for the purpose of doing this logic. So that's the reason most developers doesn't prefer this flattened Evo concept at all. Okay. Okay, but this feature is available by default in the ADF. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Then now what we do is initially we'll try to design a very simple page. Okay. I mean, I'll consider the MP table and then based on that we'll try to implement. And now whenever you want to create any entity object, the basic thing is it has to have hook columns, and also it should have a primary key okay. okay and of course both the things are not mandatory even if you don't have it still we can design entity object okay but best okay. to have features these two are best to have features okay now because entity object I should not create any any of the database uh, any of the Oracle what you say base table right we should not create on the base yeah. table it should be custom yeah. table, but in the custom table, I prefer to use EMP because it will have the columns of all the data types, so and it is easier to understand. No, okay. that's the reason. We number number we have, name varchar we have, date also we have. That is yeah. what we require. Yeah. Okay, so I'll consider this table, and it doesn't have hook columns. And even though if you don't have hook columns, also we can s still create it. Okay. okay. Now if we consider model view and CO stuff. Here we require AM, we require VO, we require EVO. Mm -hmm. EVO. Okay. Okay. Now, first of all, if you have when you are creating when you are creating a entity object, first entity should be created, then VO should be created. Okay. Okay. We always have to create entity first and then VO later. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, okay. Now I'll be implementing one more package structure. Observe here. So I'll right click at the project level, click on new, area of business component, click on entity object, okay. click on next. Now here I have to mention FND schema dot server. Right? Yes. And now here we can select the different data type object here. And preferably, you know, it allows to select all the different schemas which are available in your in your Oracle ERP instance. But we always go with the apps only, okay? And as mm -hmm. a as a normal uh, scenario, like whenever you have any custom component, what you do, you always have a synonym in the app schema, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the best thing to use it. Okay. Now I'll mention mm -hmm. my data schema object, uh, EMP. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's my database object. And here I have to mention my entity object name. I'll have a suffix evo. Entity object, mm -hmm. package name. Now, this particular operation will generate one Java file and one XML file with respect to entity object, and it also provides one more feature where you can generate the Vivo also by default. Okay. Okay. Now click on next. So see, yeah. In this case, uh, the EMP table is actually present in the app schema. Yes, it has to be. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's Okay. Yes, sure. Yeah. Now click on next. It identified all the columns here. Click on next. 
and can you see it automatically mention it as a primary key so it automatically gets all the metadata properties for a particular column and table right mm -hmm. yeah now click on next and observe here it's it is saying that like a entity object class entity EYMPL by default it is generating this method accessors and but here other methods is not generating so we'll ignore as of now later on we'll try to see what exactly they are okay okay click on next now the last step is it is asking do you want to generate the vivo I'll enable this option now. I'll mention my Vivo name, Evo Vivo, and here make sure the package structure is correct. FND server. Yeah. That's it. This step, this step is generating as generated one Vivo and one Evo. Okay. This is Evo, and this is our Vivo. And you can also observe the difference. You double click on the Vivo and see that it shows an option called Entity Object and it shows a name. Okay. And see the SQL statement. And by default, it will be in a grayed out fashion. Okay. But still, you mm -hmm. can enable it. Just click on Expert Mode, it will get enabled. Okay. Now, the remaining thing is just we have to create the page and see you. Okay. Click on New. OI component page. So I'll just consider this name. Okay. Yeah. Now set the default properties. So in this case, if you want to do any binding, we have to do it uh, on a dynamic where clause binding, right? If you want to filter data, or something like that. Either way, data. no, there is nothing like that. You, either way, you can do it. Either you want to do it design time or runtime, also you can do it. Okay, okay. Because the Vivo is created based on the Evo, right? Yes, of course. Okay. But so, mm -hmm. so you can go and change that Vivo to add uh, the where clause that you want. Yeah. Now yeah. Also, yes. It's Either way you can do it. You can change the where clause at the design time or run time. Okay, okay. Now what we can do is like uh, here initially we'll try to implement it as a it as a normal like uh, what you say. We show the data by default but later on let us say sometimes what you have is like you will have a search page as well as DML page with a single page. Okay. We can enhance that. Okay, okay. All right. So I will have two regions. So wonderly, I'll just mention the first one as search region, but we'll implement later. Now we'll work on the region two. Let's just say EMP. This region. Okay. Now in this one, perform a right click, click on new region using a wizard. Next, select the AM, select the Vivo. Where is our Vivo? Did we attach to the AM? No. No. That's where it's missing, right? Okay. Click on apply and okay. Okay. Enable region. I'll select all the columns and finish. By default, they are message text input, so that's the reason I did not change it, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what we require is we require, initially we'll try to work on the update only, okay? So, mm -hmm. on the table region, on the table region, perform a right click, click on new table actions. Mm -hmm. So, it will create a row, flow layout region. In this flow layout region, just create a new item and change the item style to submit button and have the button ID as save BTN. Save, okay. BTN, save, and also now let's create a controller, set new controller, okay. Now what we require, the first thing is we would like, we would like to display the data by default on load, right. So then what we require, we require to initialize the Vivo. Mm -hmm.
Okay. Now here. And now, let's call this method. And here also, if page context dot get parameter right. So here, I'll just write. I'll just write a method called aim dot get oedb transaction dot commit. It's like commit operation the PL SQL. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Now what we do is first of all you can check the data here. And I'll just say order by. Okay. <laughs> Let's run the page. Okay. Okay, I think I was waiting to, for the page to run, but you know, can you see the errors here? You got five errors. Okay. Five errors. Okay. This expected one. I'll tell you the reason also. So, click on the compiler, and it says just read it. Don't don't click on this error. If you click on the error, it will navigate back to the exact page where exactly it is having this issue. It is appearing in it is appearing in the entity IMPL, EMP, EO IMPL, and the basic reason is if you observe, this entity IMPL implement the seeded. OA entity IMPL. So click on the entity entity object, click on the EY MPL. Okay. Now mm -hmm. if you observe by default the generated object is having issue. The reason is it is extending OA entity IMPL. The basic feature is if you are extending a seeded object, you have to implement all the methods, isn't it? No, oh, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So in this one, as we don't have the hook columns, it could not generate those particular methods. If you observe for every attribute like uh, EMP, E name and kind of thing, you have the getters as well as setters like get okay. EMP number as well as set EMP number so okay. as per the way entity IMPL if you observe you will have some set of things like uh, set creation date set created by all these things so these methods okay. has to be generated because these are abstract right this has to be implement now what we do okay. either you can write them manually or you just click on this particular error and click on implement methods Mm -hmm. okay. Integrate these methods for us. That's it. So now these are just the simple dummy methods. That's it. Yeah. If you are the who columns, you will not even have this issue. As we don't have the who columns, we got this issue. Okay. Yeah. Now run the page. Okay. Now, what I will do is let us say I'll try to change the salary for this particular king, and I will make it as five triple nine. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just click on save. It says data saved, but how do you know? How can you validate? We can go to database. If you observe, it was how much for the king? Five. Yeah, this was the thing. Right? It was 1900. Now we change it. Let us see that. Yeah. 
right? Five triple nine. Yeah. Right. Without having DML, just using a single commit statement, it's simply updated, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the feature of the entity object. Okay. Okay. So now, mm -hmm. like, uh, what we have remaining is like, uh, if you observe the CRUD operation, like, uh, generally we call this as CRUD, right? Create, read, update, and delete. So now we could we could work on read and update. Read and update are finished, isn't it? Because read means like a displaying a data that we know it. Update means like a, we just simply call the comment statement, then it went on. But now other thing is like a creating a record as well as deleting a record. Okay, these are the features which are. Remaining. So we'll implement these features in the next class. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um,